गुड मॉर्निंग शेम स्टार्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ दिस चैप्टर चैप्टर फोर्टीन रेस्पिरेशन इन प्लांट्स वी डिस्कस्ड क्रेप साइकिल दैट इज टी सी ए साइकिल इन दिस प्रजेंटेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम एंड ऑक्सीडेटिव फॉस्फोराइलेशन द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन इज अ सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सेज दैट ट्रांसफर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर्स टू इलेक्ट्रॉन एक्सेप्टर्स वाई आर रिडॉक्स रिएक्शंस and couples this real electron transfer with the transfer of protons across a membrane the electron transport chain is built up of peptides enzymes and other molecules ets occurs in the electron transport particles that is etp on the inner surface of the inner membrane of mitochondria NADH formed in glycolysis and citric acid cycle are oxidized by NADH dehydroxygenase and it forms complex 1 and the electrons are transferred to ubiquinon via FMN ubiquinon also receives reducing equivalence via FADH generated during the oxidation of succinate by succinate dehydroxygenase and it forms complex 2 the reduced ubiquinone called ubiquinol is then oxidized by transfer of electrons to cytochrome c via cytochrome b c complex that is complex 3 cytochrome c is a small protein attached to the outer surface of the inner membrane and acts inner membrane of mitochondria and acts as a mobile carrier for the transfer of electrons between complex 3 and complex 4 here complex 4 refers to the cytochrome oxidase complex containing cytochromes a and a3 and two copper centers when the electrons are shunted over the carriers via complex 1 2 4 as shown in the diagram in the slide in the electron transport chain they are coupled to atp synthetase for the formation of atp from adp and inorganic phosphate oxygen functions as the terminal acceptor of the electrons and is reduced to water along with the hydrogen atoms the electrons as they move through the electron transport system release enough energy that are trapped to synthesize atp this is called oxidative phosphorylation now we understood that the energy release during the electron transport system is utilized in synthesizing atp molecule with the help of atp synthetase that is complex 5 this complex consists of two major components f1 and f0 as shown in the figure The F1 headpiece is a peripheral membrane protein complex and contains the site for synthesis of ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate. F0 is an integral membrane protein complex that forms the channel through which protons cross the inner membrane. The passage of protons through the channel is coupled to the catalytic site of the f1 component for the production of atp for each atp produced two hydrogen ion passes through f0 from the intermembrane space to the matrix down the electrochemical proton gradient oxidation of one molecule of nadh gives the three molecules of atp while oxidation of one molecule of fadh2 gives two molecules of atp oxygen acts as the terminal acceptor of hydrogen and drives the whole process by removing hydrogen from the system hence the process is called oxidative phosphorylation so students this is all about electron transport system and synthesis of atp molecules i hope you must have understood in the next presentation we will discuss the respiratory balance sheet and amphibolic pathway 
Thank you, Shem Stars. That's all for today. You can drop your queries on Google Classroom. Take care.